Could you give us a brief overview of the key challenges facing the pharmaceutical industry in terms of drug development? The major problem of the pharmaceutical industry in terms of development of drug formulation is the poor solubility and poor bioavailability of drugs. Mm -hmm. So what we have seen over the recent years yeah, is an increase in the number of poorly soluble drugs and uh, we think in future that uh, they will sum up to 80%. Yeah. All the excipients that, uh, which are used, or most of the excipients which are used um, yeah, in this area are more than three decades old. Uh, and they have been squeezed into various directions. And what we definitely um, need to develop are new excipients uh, offering opportunities for new drug formulations in future. So you mentioned that most of the excipients are three decades old. Yeah. And we see such a need for innovation in the field of solubilization. How do you think the industry is approaching this? Because we find that the pharmaceutical industry is very risk adverse. Pharmaceutical yeah. industry is very risk adverse. And this makes um, life definitely more difficult. More difficult for the suppliers as well as for the pharma companies. Yeah? Because um, the suppliers have to spend a lot of money in developing um, so-called novel excipients because they require the same toxicological studies yeah, as they are required for a new drug. Yeah? So um, it's a cost-consuming uh, yeah, development. The developments of pharma companies also take time. Um, and they do not want to take any risk on a late drug development. Yeah? And therefore, they tend to use um, drug formulations based on well-known excipients, which might be inferior yeah, compared to what is possible to do when using so-called novel excipients. And we have to overcome, jointly we have to overcome this dilemma. Yeah, so pharma companies and excipient suppliers, particularly those of novel excipients, have to work more closely together in order to enable that uh, uh, new opportunities are used. Thank you.